Good evening. The Secretary General will uh, update you on uh, the first day of the meeting of uh, NATO Foreign Ministers. Secretary General. Good evening. NATO Foreign Ministers uh, just concluded a substantive discussion on Russia's brutal uh, war of aggression and our support for Ukraine. The Ukrainian armed forces have made significant uh, progress, liberating the lands and pushing back Russian forces. At the same time, large parts of Ukraine remain occupied, and the Russian military retains strong capabilities and a large number of troops. Russia is uh, using brutal missile and drone attacks uh, to leave Ukraine cold and dark this winter. President Putin is trying to weaponize winter, to force Ukrainians to freeze or flee. He is trying to break the will of the brave Ukrainian people and to divide all of us who support them. But our meeting here in Bucharest is sending a strong message of NATO unity and of sustained support for Ukraine. NATO is not a party to the war, but we will continue to support Ukraine for as long as it takes. We will not back down. NATO allies are providing unprecedented support. And today, allies made additional pledges to NATO's comprehensive assistance package for Ukraine. This will fund urgent uh, non-lethal support, including fuel and generators, helping Ukraine uh, to uh, address the consequences uh, of Russia's uh, strikes against their power grid. I was also glad to take part in the G7 foreign ministerial meeting just now to secure uh, commitments for the emergency infrastructure coordination mechanism to assist uh, Ukraine. NATO's uh, practical and political support will continue now and for the longer term. And I look forward uh, to uh, discussing our support with Foreign Minister Koleba later tonight. In our meeting, we also addressed Ukraine's Euro-Atlantic aspirations. Foreign ministers reaffirmed NATO's support for Ukraine's right to choose its own path, and we recognize and respect Ukraine's aspirations for membership. However, our focus now is on providing immediate support as uh, Ukraine defends itself against uh, Russian aggression. And we will also work even more closely with our other partners. So I look forward uh, to our meeting tomorrow with Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, Georgia and Moldova. Finally, let me welcome Norway's offer to host an informal meeting of NATO foreign ministers next year in Norway. With that, I'm ready to take your questions.